What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be showing you another super easy way to make coins on FIFA 20 and this time it's going to be through the Marquee Matchups SBC. So if you're enjoying the content make sure to like, comment, subscribe and we're going to jump into it. So Marquee Matchups gets released every single week. As you can see it expires in 13 hours because it comes out every single, what, Thursday? Yeah, I'm dumb. Thursday. So basically to get the most coins out of this, you're going to want to do this right when Marquee Matchups comes out. So I'm making it this at the back end of a Marquee Matchups right now, which it's not going to be as helpful, but in the next week and the coming weeks, you guys are going to be able to use this to make a lot of coins. So to start with, we have the Rangers versus Celtic SBC. So we're going to go into this. So you need rare or UEFA Champions League rare players. So I already sold all of these, but basically these spiked in price big time. So you always need to be checking the uh, the SBCs that come out. Champions League rares are cards that always go up a ton. This one should be untradeable because I'm pretty sure I sold all of mine that were tradable. This one as well. Let's check here. Untradable, untradable. Um, let's just compare their prices just to see. So yeah. He's basically extinct. He'd sell for 10k. There were a couple for 8k. This guy, there's quite a few of them. He'll sell for about 9k. He's probably not, he's not going to be fully extinct at any point. So as you can see, the Champions League rares are just shooting up in price. But for this SBC, so basically I would check Scottish Prem because it requires one. But it's probably not going to have gone up much. I'm pretty sure I passed, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a little further back, isn't it? It's past, like, League and Os. Let's see. Yeah, and then we'll check the high-rated cards. Maybe, like, a couple of silvers here we'll throw in. See how much they are. But I doubt any of these went up much. Let's check here. So silvers, they're up a little bit. That guy's about 1,400. This guy... Okay, so the high-rated silvers do sell for quite a bit because you do need one and you do need a good rating. So any gold cards or any high-rated silvers are going to sell for quite a bit. And this guy also sells because of the uh, an Irish League SVC that I'll show you guys in another video how you're going to make coins. And then Scottish Prem here again. Again, you can get 700 coins out of him, which is probably not what he usually goes for. So this SVC, Champions League rares up a ton because of it. This one over here, again, these aren't requiring a lot of players. It's not a great marquee matchup, but again, rare or UEFA Champions League rare players, minimum two. So you're going to want to sell all of your UEFA Champions League rare players because they're, they're up in price a ton. But here again, Monaco and ASSE players. So we're going to check those. I believe it's AS Monaco, so those will be right there. Where's the other team? Not there right now. But yeah, we're going to put all these Monaco players, these gold ones in, and see what they're selling for. He's untradeable. He is tradable. Oh boy, we are clicking all sorts of stuff right here. So we're going to get a good, pretty good price here for this guy. We can get, he's price fixed there, but we can probably get 2k out of him because of the price fix. So again, these cards... Even though it only requires one, these cards still do go up in price. This guy, not a great price, but just because he's in the SBC, lazy buyers are going to pick him up for about 1,200 coins. It's because center backs are always a good one, easy to link it, as long as you're picking up a goalkeeper. Strikers aren't always ones that sell, but again, lazy buyers, we are going to get people buying him for about 1,000 coins. So always be selling to lazy buyers. Don't miss your plays for the minimum. And then ASSE. Let's see what we can get for these guys. We'll check this right mid as well. He could be good because of the league SVC. And he's untradeable, so we're not going to worry about him. Um, We'll move over to Kolodza Jack here. He used to be a good card. I forget what FIFA it was in. This guy will pick up about 950000 for him from lazy buyers. Again, it's all about selling the lazy buyers. People people always list their cards up for the minimum, and it just doesn't make sense to do that. So stay away from doing that. You can always get more coins out of it. Um, Valencia and Levante. Again, rares and Champions League rares. So we'll go ahead and move over to the Spanish League here. I already forget the second team, but... Oh, it was Valencia and Levante, wasn't it? I 
think so. So this one, I know I have these guys untradeable. So this is an SBC that we're probably going to end up doing because we have the players untradeable, right? Yes. How about Sherry Chef? Again, untradeable. We have all these Valencia players untradeable. Ooh. Let's check how much this guy is. 3.8. Ooh, 3.8k for this guy. So again, just from checking these SBCs, we're making easy coins. Boom. Kangan Lee. We're going to get 4k. Oh, our transfer list is full, which is going to be a little annoying. Let me go see if I can, if I have anything I can clear real quick. Because I'm selling tons of stuff right now. Oof. Gonna have to wait for some things to sell here, but Mitrovic goes. So we'll go over. Kangan Lee is going to sell. Let me go in favorite marquee matchups here. Here we go. Go to number Valencia in Levante. Boom. Kangan Lee. We had him for about 43 he'll sell for. And basically, guys. I'm not going to do it in this video because it's going to take up a lot of time, but this is an SBC where because I have these players untradeable, I would go ahead and complete this SBC because we'll still get a pack out of it and we'll get use out of our untradeable players. A Prime Election Players pack is always a good one. And then we're going to move into... Uh, we'll check Levante, I guess. See what kind of players we have there. We're not going to be able to sell anything right now. we got to wait for some things to go. But again, it's about checking these, making sure we're clearing our club out of players that have value when they have value. That's the whole point of holding all these cards, is that when they go up in value, we are selling them. So keeping the club stock is always important. We'll get 800 out of that guy from Lazy Buyers. This guy's untradeable, so we could throw him in if we wanted. Plays from the same league, max 7. And then this guy, Striker Morales, we'll get 1,200 out of him. So again, guys, more coins out of these players here. Again, I'm not going to list them because I have to wait. But we're going to move into the last one here. Again, rares and Champions League rares. Shooting up in price. Premier League, we'll check Everton and Liverpool. They're probably not up a ton. Um, Maybe these guys are. Some non-rares. Good positions. Like, left mids and right mids from these. Yeah, these are up quite a bit. These are the good ones to snipe, actually. So that'll be a filter I'm going to look at for you guys and show you. Probably Everton Brazilian players will get you left mid, right mid. I don't think there's anyone else. So that's a good one there. So basically, guys, that's not it for this method. You're going to go through all of your players from these clubs and sell off pretty much everything that goes for a good amount. And then once you're done there, you're going to be looking for sniping filters as you go in these marquee matchups. And what I mean by that is... What you saw in that last one is that I was like, man, those Brazilians from Everton go for quite a bit. So we're going to go Premier League, Everton, Brazilian. And a lot of times you're just going to be trying different filters, just kind of seeing what works. Everton. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be a good filter. As you guys can see, 2.2K there. So they're settling about 2.5K. Lazy Buyers will pick them up 2.5K. So we're going to be sniping about 1,800 to make quite a few coins here. This one is still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's old. Okay, so it was just there. So basically, I'm just going to sit here, try and snipe both of these Brazilian guys. It's always good finding new filters that work for a week, because a lot of time, people just use the same filters throughout the week, but these, I like to call them like dynamic filters, because they're always changing, getting new ones, and a lot of people don't know about them. So I like to pick up these filters. It's an easy way to make coins. So yeah, basically you're just gonna sit here. Not getting a lot right now. We might go up to 2K. And basically this is a filter you're gonna use. As you saw earlier, you are gonna get cards to pop up. And then another good one, basically just bidding on players is what works really well. So, I mean, I might sit here. As you can see, we're getting a lot to pop up here. These are all going to be good pickups here. We'll see if we can get that Bernard on camera for you guys. I don't want to make this too long of a video because I want people to know, like, I want you guys to see that it's not going to take a lot to make coins from this. It's just being smart with the players that you have in your club. Um, so we do have one spot here. I don't know if we got, 
outbid there. Sold. Looks like we sold something. Yeah. So let's see if we can pick up this Bernard again. He's selling for about 2.5k. I feel like a lazy buyer might pick him up. Let's see. 5.4k. I'm going to leave him there because I am going to be showing why he sells. Bernard, come on. Minute 25. So basically, guys, the idea is with the murky matchups... You're gonna, there's going to be eight teams. You're going to go through all the teams, all eight clubs, look at all your players, sell them for what they go for because it's going to be the max you're going to be going for, basically. After that, you're going to go through the league that they go in, look at links for the uh, the clubs. Basically, just go through all the leagues and the clubs, see what players are kind of at a high price, what you think is right for what, just kind of the right value, what you think they should go for. And then after that, just kind of extra requirements, Maybe something that says, like, maximum of two nations. So if it was a Premier League club, you'd want to go through and sell all of your English players because people need to get the same nations into the squad. So English players are going to be going for a lot. Or something like in this, it was Champions League players. So all of your Champions League players, make sure to sell them off because they'll be going for an inflated price. So basically, it's about checking out the requirements for, for the SBCs and making sure. I'm going to double bid this guy. Basically, what a double bid is, is you just bid twice in a row to make him think there's a lot of people bidding on the card. Sometimes it works, sometimes it scares people away. We'll see if we can get this for 1800 or less. I don't... It's late at night, so this guy's probably a trader as well, trying to pick up easy bids. So he might bid high just to make a small amount of coins. This will be the highest I go, 1800 But again, this will always work. Maybe this is the highest he'll go. Let's see. This will always work really well when it's kind of prime FIFA time, about 1 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. UK. Just kind of, all right, we're going to let him have that one. Again, bidding and sniping will work. It's just about being smart about the players in marquee matchups and what you're doing. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Thank you for watching.